<laughs> I'm sorry, Odie. I don't have time to play right now. I'm making dinner tonight for Liz. It's her birthday. I have to make it real special. She's always complaining we never do anything interesting or special on her birthday. I prepared a dish of carrot and celery sticks. Ah, it was right here on the counter and now it's not here. Aha! What? Celery stick? Ooh, Garfield! You could have a carrot stick if you prefer. I'm trying to make a nice dinner for Liz's birthday! I have such interesting people living near me, Winona. That house over there, well, it belongs to a man named John Arbuckle, or as his neighbors call him, the guy with the cat. <gasps> what does he do? <laughs> and the sweet potato pie is supposed to be for six people, not one cat! Ooh, well, he does a lot of that. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cauldron. Have you seen Garfield? Please don't tell him where I am. Please don't tell him where I am. I uh, no, I haven't. Yay, Mrs. Cauldron. <laughs> uh, Mr. Arbuckle, I want you to meet my niece Winona. She's staying with me for the summer. Nice to meet you, Winona. <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, call me John. I'm sorry I can't stay and chat. I'm making dinner. Oh, well, we understand. Goodbye, Mr. R. I mean, John. I don't blame you, Garfield. I like sweet potato pie myself. <laughs> oh, come on, Winona. Oh, that's Mrs. Cauldron. You remember her from last season? She was that lady I thought might be a witch. Why? I don't know. There's something about her voice. It reminds me of every witch I've ever seen in a cartoon. Now, when you make your potions, heat them over a fire. Don't try microwaving them. It doesn't work. Oh, these kids today. Winona, are you paying attention? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, you liked him, eh? Oh, I more than liked him, Auntie. He's the man I'm going to marry. Right. Yes, he's going to be my husband. Never more. At least pay attention. You'll never be a full-fledged witch unless you learn your enchantments. I'm going to take a little beauty nap. Now you study your potions while I sleep. I will, Auntie. May I look into the brazier of all-seeing wisdom? Oh, sure. It's a lot cheaper than cable TV. Just don't touch my book of spells or my broom. I want to see my beloved, John Arbuckle. I made your favorite, Liz, because I know you love it. Oh, John, you're always so wonderful to me. Ah. Oh, nothing's too good for my favorite lady. She can't have him. He's mine. And he's going to be mine. I will go and sweep him off to the Tower of Witchery and marry him this night. Nevermore! You stupid raven! Don't you ever say anything besides nevermore? Nevermore! I'm not supposed to borrow Annie's broom and book of spells, but this is an emergency! <laughs> I have to learn how to do that laugh. Come on, guys. Let's bring in the birthday cake. Who are you? I am the future Mrs. John Arbuckle. What? I I don't, I, I don't, I can't. Okay, you think he'll marry you, but he won't. You know why? Because you're a mouse. A mouse? Yeah, hold on. Okay, Moose, Mole Hill Mountain. Oh, mouse, mouse. Okay, here it is. Mouse. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Liz. Make a wish. Where's Liz? And who are you? 
Don't you remember me, John? Winona? Oh, Liz isn't here. And anyway, she's a mouse now. So <gasps> I'll make a wish. <sighs> See? I get my wish. And my wish is that you'll marry me! Go for it. Could be your only chance. Now wait a minute, lady. I'm taking you to the Tower of Witchery for the ceremony. And since you're too big to fit on my broom with me... <laughs> John! <laughs> now... As for you two. Run away. This can't be happening. A mouse! What are you, a zebra? I'm not a mouse. At least, I wasn't five minutes ago. Well, this is going to take some explaining. Let me go! Don't fight it, John. It was meant to be. And now, it's off to the Tower of Witchery. So we can be wed. <laughs> Of course I have a brilliant plan to rescue John. I just don't know what it is yet. Try talking to this lady. Garfield? Can you talk? To other animals, which I'm afraid includes you now, Liz. How are we going to defeat an all-powerful witch? She may not be all-powerful. She said she's learning. Um, she borrowed her aunt's broom and book of spells. And I'll bet her aunt doesn't know anything about it. Come on! You have to talk to her, Liz. What am I going to say? Well, just tell her that her niece stole her stuff and ask her if she really wants a cartoonist in the family. I told her not to touch my book of spells and my broom as well. We have to stop her from marrying John. I'll say I don't want a cartoonist in my family. Never more! That bad niece of mine took my broom, so I'll have to use my vacuum cleaner. Who's coming with me? Me. I'm going. I think I'll walk home. I get airsick, especially flying on household appliances. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better hurry. They marry people fast at the Tower of Witchery. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. So that's all you do all day? Sit around and say never more? It's all I could get. I have trouble learning my lines. <laughs> Proud to conduct a wedding ceremony, Winona. But whom do you wish to marry? Yum. Oh, very cute and practical. Your groom is just the right size to fit atop the wedding cake. <laughs> uh, may I say one word? Is it a good word? It's an excellent word, and it's very appropriate. Very well, then. Say your word. Help! Here it is! That's the Tower of Witchery! But I just realized we may have a tiny problem. What is it? This vacuum cleaner has a thousand mile power cord, and the Tower of Witchery is one thousand miles and six inches from my home. Uh oh. <laughs> If anyone objects to this man and this witch being joined in a magical matrimony, let this person speak now. Would it do any good for me to object? No. Now then. Stop this ceremony! <laughs> We're here to save this man from marrying that witch he doesn't want to marry. <laughs> we seem to have intruders. Ladies, what is he going to be? Insects, statues, or frogs? Very well. The frogs have it. Oh, don't complain. I could have changed you into a moose and squirrel. Okay, so we're frogs. At least Doty has the tongue for it. Uh, hello. Could we just get on with my marriage, please? Indeed. If anyone objects... I object! I object to this ceremony. My niece is not yet a full-fledged witch. Not? 
but she has broom and book of spells. Um, oh, I stole them from my aunt. <gasps> she cannot be wed here if she's not a full-fledged witch. Drop a house on her. Quiet. We don't do that anymore. I'm really sorry, aunt. I don't know what came over me. I just thought he was so cute. Well, we'll talk about that, dear. Plus, I want to get your eyes checked. Uh, excuse me, could you do something about, you know, this? Yeah, and could you uh, possibly uh, turn us back into ourselves? Oh, <laughs> I can do better than that. I can put everything back the way it was and wipe your memories so you'll have no recollection of any of this. Sim Make a wish list and blow out the candles. Here goes. Odie, do you have the feeling that something just, I mean, kind of... Eh, never mind. So, what did you wish for? I wish that just once something really interesting would happen on my birthday. Be careful what you wish for, Liz. Hey, <laughs> we weren't all there to have our memories wiped out. <laughs>